This handsome devil right here is Bo Welch, or Robert W. Bo Welch III, an American production designer, art director, film director, and occasional actor. While it isn't likely that you're familiar with Mr. Welch himself, you're likely to recognize at least some of the many movies he's worked on. He's played a major role in the making of Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, The Lost Boys, Men in Black 1, 2, and 3, Joe vs. the Volcano, Land of the Lost, Wild Wild West, Space Chimps, The First Thor, and The Color Purple. And those are only a few from his expansive and varied list of filmmaking credits. Little is known about Bo Welch, and what I mean by that is his Wikipedia page is surprisingly brief. Born in Yardley, Pennsylvania, worked on these movies. He's married to a Home Alone mom, whom we met in the set of Beetlejuice. Most of what I know about Bo Welch comes from the Spotlight video posted about a year ago with roughly a thousand views, where I learned that he was an architecture student at the University of Arizona, and once said, It, architecture, should serve people and be the framework for a more cohesive kind of country, state, town, but everything in the fabric of our physical world works to alienate and separate people from each other. I first came across Bo Welch when looking at what hero directed the live-action Cat in the Hat, his feature-length directorial debut, after rewatching the film with a friend of mine, Brett, back in high school. I was crushed to find out that the Cat in the Hat is the only feature film he's ever directed, even to this day, but was shocked by the rest of his filmography. After seeing that he played a major part in the making of some of my favorite movies, I suggested to Brett that we go through and watch all the movies Bo Welch has worked on, with the goal of discerning slash detecting his impact on each film, and whether you could feel the presence of Bo Welch III. But this idea was born back when we were still in high school, which was ages ago. And it wasn't until fairly recently when Brett, myself, and a few other friends decided to put on Edward Scissorhands for a group movie night did this idea reemerge. And right there, in the opening credits, almost completely wiped from Brett and I's memories, the name Bo Welch. We give a quick shout out to Bo with Brett saying, Bro, Bo Welch is written fucking all over this movie. And just a few seconds after he said this, the movie showed an establishing shot of a bright, pastel-colored little suburban town strikingly similar to the suburb depicted in the beautiful, unforgettable, uh, perspicacious film, The Cat in the Hat. This connection, and all of us, the whole group, thoroughly enjoying Edward Scissorhands, was the catalyst for Bread Knight to finally getting around to marathoning all of what Bo Welch has to offer. We've managed to convince another friend of ours, who was in the audience that movie night, Trevor, pictured here, to join us on our endeavor. We originally talked about marathoning all of his films in one day, but after doing the math, we realized that was literally impossible and that this was going to be a much larger time commitment than we had planned. Brett and Trevor, seeing how many hours of Bo Welch was ahead of them, without knowing whether or not they'd be any good, started to weigh in on the idea. So, to compromise, I made a list of just 20 of his movies, trying my best to select as wide a range as I could. When making this list, I took into account different directors and actors he's worked with repeatedly and what his job title was, while also trying to get a nice variety. Most of his credits are as a production designer, so out of those, I chose The Lost Boys, Wild Wild West, The Princess, Land of the Lost, Thor, Jefferson Volcano, Wolf, What Planet Are You From, Ghostbusters 2, Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, The Birdcage, Space Chips. Out of his art director credits, I chose Used Cars, The Color Purple, The Hoboken Chicken Emergency, and The Chilly Scenes of Winter. He has one credit as set decorator on a movie called Looker, so I included that. And his only acting credit is in Men in Black 2, so I chose that over Men in Black 1 and 3. And finally, of course, his magnum opus, The Cat in the Hat. And with our list set up, all we needed was a few supplies before our Bo Welch journey could begin. Hey Brett. What's up, buddy? What are we doing right now? It's Bo Welch week. Bo Welch We're week. prepping for Bo Welch. <laughs> what, would, what else would we be doing? June 2nd is fucking Bo Welch day. The Bo Welch day is coming up. It's encroaching. It's <laughs> Bo Welch day is coming up, dude. We got a fucking prep. It's like doomsday prep, but way more fucking important. <laughs> There's only one way to prep for Bo Welch Day. Trevor, what's your favorite Bo Welch film? Um, I know you can't answer because they're all amazing. I'd probably have to say The Cat in the Hat. Yeah, that's a good pick, though. That's a good <laughs> pick, though. You know me, I'm a Beetlejuice fan. Go fuck yourself, dude. Get with the crowd, dog. Get with the fucking crowd. <laughs> Read the room. <laughs> Thank you. 
You guys play tennis? Yeah, we're tennis guys now. We're tennis guys now, like yeah. tennis guys. Yeah. Yeah. We're tennis guys. God damn it! You fucking took it right from me. <laughs> me and Welch are tennis guys now. Yeah. Brett. For starters, no. Grab me our finest Fortnite paper plate. Butter knife. Spoon. It's on the top. They weren't on the top. Yeah, it was. Oh, I'm too short. Fortnite. Right there. Hello? <laughs> Alright. First movie down. Yeah, we're gonna have to rate this one. Joe versus the volcano. Joe versus the volcano. Brett, I feel like you kinda blew your load early. Uh just a touch. Maybe they spell I versus. <laughs> Trevor's trying to do it again. He's not an actor. Production designer, production designer. Come on, the production accountant? Dude, who needs that? Where's Bo? Where's Green? Where's Bo? The arrangement? What does that mean? The color timer? <laughs> Ed Hirsch, more like not Bo Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. Take Bo <laughs> they have Bob Finley the third, but what about Bo Welch the third? No, no, we're talking about Bo Welch the third. But shout out Grandpa Welch though. They call me Pig Hunter. Alright, they had one animator, Sean Turner. Shout out to Sean. Dude! Okay, okay, where is Stosh? Did we miss him? Red Burke. <laughs> Yo, these are not really people. They're just, they're just making people laugh. True. Maybe they do the big people at the beginning and then they. I, think, I, guess. I think we missed him. No, I think we'll just have to catch the next movie. What if he was an actor? What if he was an actor? He wasn't. He was only an actor in one movie, which is. But what if he was credited and they didn't put it in the. Rest? He was uncredited in the one he actually. I know! Bro. I think I think we missed him. No. Can we can we rewind again? Years ago. 
Wait, were you ready? <laughs> All right, go, go ahead and uh, do, do the spiel again. Four years ago, me and cameraman had this discussion. Okay, I used to watch, watch Chris Stuckman back in the day. Okay, he did this review on this movie called Stay. I don't know if you guys remember it. Not really well reviewed, just a movie. Okay, after his review, he said, wow, you know what? It turns out that this movie's actually really deep layered and it's got a great, like, kind of... Uh, thematic story like underneath but it got reviewed kind of mediocrely and then me and cameraman had a fucking discussion for like two hours about how John how many regular movies are out there that people think oh, it's just whatever and are actually amazing we just found one it was this it was fucking Joe versus the volcano we found another one fuck no <laughs> bro no no seriously no I fucking... Is red okay <laughs> Yo, I might, I know, might have been crap. Yeah, I'll say this. <laughs> Dude, that had to work. <laughs> you alright? I'm so excited about Bro. Alright, this makes for a great transition uh, into our next amazing. film. That was actually amazing. Wild Wild West. Holy shit. That really did hurt. <laughs> <laughs> did you can, can you type the word Welch over it? <laughs> Can I see your, your welt? I mean, welt. <laughs> yeah. This is what I do for you, Bo. <laughs> this is what I do. God damn it. We're getting close. We're getting close. Not you, Jim. Jim Miller, get out of here. They're sheep, don't you remember? <laughs> you foolish boy. What'd you think? Um, it was pretty solid. I think I liked it a little bit more than you guys, but it awakened quite a bit. Brett? Um, I think the first third was pretty solid. I do. I think there was a lot of funny shit in there. And then they just made it like a basic bitch movie. You know, they kind of fall. Um, and I only have one thing to Hello. say. Um, wake up, Mr. West, Mr. West, Mr. Fresh, Mr. Please. Have you been recording when everyone's been speaking the parts or no? Because I didn't notice that before. Oh, which parts? Like the when we said the uh, the synopsis. No, I haven't been. Okay, I don't think you have. That might be a good thing to do, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, an just... established officer of an interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Police force must restore his part of memory in order to protect the world against extraterrestrial visitors. We're only watching Men in Black 2 because we don't want to watch 1 and 3 because that's an additional four hours. Day three in a <laughs> row of, uh, of Bo Welch films. The reason why we chose this one is because Bo Welch is an actor in this He's one. He's an actor! <laughs> We're going to find him. We're going to see him. We're going to daddy him. Mm -hmm. Uncredited astronaut. Bottoms up for my Welch. Say something. <laughs> I Welch sit down. Ugh! I'm drinking five hour energy for you, Bo. Jesus Christ. It's all good, my Welch. <laughs> Thanks, my Welch. All right. All right. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Trevor, come back. <laughs> Trevor, you don't like that? Look, 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 she's gonna get skinny again. She'll meet your realistic, that's, unrealistic that's beauty like standard bored. again, that's pussy. Literally bored. <laughs> She'll meet your unrealistic beauty standard, you shitter. <laughs> did she spit him out or did she just digest him? She Which farted. end did it come out of? She farted. But well, ah, yeah. 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 Bo Welch. Bo Welch. That means it was you. I, I did it. Hey guys, we are all just a small locker in Bo Welch's mind. <laughs> Fuck, dude, that you're giving away the uh, Men in Black Two review right now, <laughs> dog. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, day two. Day two. Day two of Bo Welch day. Hold on. Wait, why is there? Ah! Oh my god. 
Ah, oh, hate that. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, he's directed TV shows. Yeah, he's, he's directed uh, the, the series the of unfortunate events. Two bro, this isn't episodes of the Tick. This isn't a TV channel, bro. This is a movie channel. Um, we don't watch TV shows here. No, we don't. We just look up the name of the name of the director. A ghost of a happy couple enlists a bio exorcist to evict the new owners of their former home. Now, did that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Well, I've also I've seen this I've seen this a lot. I've seen this movie. Play. I actually yeah. haven't seen Beetlejuice before. Yeah. Uh, I like this film a lot. So this one was very young. It doesn't count. All right. True. Oh, Michael, Michael, whatever his name is. He's a Michael Golden Boy. Michael Keaton. And uh, we're sad he's only did 12 movies in his life. <laughs> there are people who say this is his best performance. So. You know what else people say? This is about Welch's best performance. That was a Men in Black 2. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, I missed it! Go back! <laughs> Our internet's not doing great today, I don't think. It's a rough one so far. Ooh. Get out of here! Get no! Nice. Fuck you, Danny! I like Danny, but get out of here! Get- No! <laughs> <laughs> Gay couple have Robin to Williams is gay. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> is that um, never mind. A gay couple have to play it straight when their son announces that he's going to marry the daughter of a conservative U.S. senator. Which one? Could be all of them. Is that Matt Damon? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, look at that water, dude. That's Bo Welch. <laughs> he invented the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> look at the building. The, the buildings are Bo Welch. I mean, the that's that actually, that's actually kind of Bo Welch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, that's a Bo Welch color scheme it right is, there. But I, was, I was doing a bit. Unless he didn't. <laughs> we have a, this one way louder. <laughs> Woo! Hey! Oh my god, you know this song. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, brother. <laughs> That's <laughs> right after edited every time. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. You called it, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, this guy made him a Yeah. Oh my god. Ooh. And to think that they came together again for Cat in the Hat. One banger after another. <laughs> Shout out my boy Lubezki. Not as much as my boy Bo Welch, obviously. <laughs> All right, all right, Brett, let's see, did he piss? There's piss coming out of this dude's dick, watch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a tassel. It's a tassel, ah, it's a right? Damn! I thought it was piss for sure. Shout out to drag shows. Except for the non- <laughs> So. So. Oh. So what you think? So that one was bad. That was real bad. Yeah, uh, not, we did we did not enjoy the bird cage. Not in a homophobic way. No, no. More in a like I said, like an antiquated SNL sketch kind of way. I can always get more toast. Um, we can always get more we can toast. Always <laughs> get more toast. Uh, yeah. Um, this is the film version of the "Don't bar. Ask, Don't Tell" law. <laughs> um yeah so i just have a little rant real quick and then my guy can go on about it you know he's a little more gay than me mm. um <laughs> you know <laughs> um bro at the end these are terrible people they are not good people they're terrible people and after they can't leave after being like ew you guys are gay ew what the fuck we're leaving and then they can't leave and then they're like, oh, well, let us help you. 
Well, it seemed like the senator was stupefied after that. He still didn't understand by the end. No, I know. He's, yeah, he didn't understand. But it was because he was such a fucking cunt, which is why he didn't understand. Yeah, there was it, no... It, <clears throat> it, we were predicting every single thing that happened. Literally every yeah. single thing. Yeah, it was... In fact, so cameraman, the, 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 the you son, said one line that literally was said. I uh, Didn't Trevor Verbatim. as well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trevor said I think a few of that happened, yeah. yeah. Also, y'all called, oh, he's going to dress up like the wife, and then they're, he's going to be the wife. Yeah. The, the resolution, I just, I felt, I didn't feel any enjoyment from it. Yeah, it was terrible. Trevor, Trevor, go off, though. Tell him why it didn't, well, tell him why the resolution was bad. Well, because <laughs> there's so many problems with it. Because it's supposed to be like a movie about acceptance. Like, there were some sub-themes of that that I, like, noticed throughout. But there was so much just bad representation. But also, it was just the whole thing where the son was like, oh, I don't want to show my parent to show my people that my parents are gay because I'm ashamed of my gay parents. So we're gonna do everything in our power to like make my stepdad uh, upset and like not accept them for who they are. And then at the very end, you're like, "This is my mom. They're gay." Yeah, isn't yeah. that okay? It, it, it wasn't an earned moment. And then also, I don't think anyone. But it, it, the movie didn't even know it was earned because the uh, the other parents were like. Okay, we're gonna leave. It like it wasn't even like a oh like, yeah, we're proud of you, son. Yeah, there wasn't like a there wasn't a conversation between them like oh this this is accepting. They just no, they were off. just like okay. But that's also, it. I, I think just kept saying I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, I also think that every single character in the movie was just dreadful. I just I don't think they were. They, no one was interesting or likable. Yeah, in every one of these other Bob Wells movies, even the bad ones, there's interesting characters. And then also, no one was interesting. Uh, we, you said this about the other movies that we've watched in the Bo Welch marathon, but this one, the, the plot doesn't kick in until the last forty five. So far, minutes. every movie, like the actual synopsis, when you read it from the movie, does not start until the like the third act. Which is how nineteen nineties movies? Were I made. guess. I guess we're not supposed to review it, so we're done. But like this yeah, one, yeah, fucking we've gone up so long enough. F. Why did Bo Welch sign on to do that movie? I'm <laughs> so good. <laughs> All right, uh, take two. <laughs> Fuck. No, no, Brett, just like run it. <laughs> Why did Bo Welch sign on to do that? <laughs> he didn't come into frame. <laughs> was that not in frame? I turned it to where I was just focusing on. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm just gonna fo uh, give you. I'll tell you when. I'm just. Gonna, I want you want Trevor, uh, just holding silverware for a second. I feel nothing. Why did Bo Welch sign on to do that movie? I'm just saying, this movie had the least Bo Welch influence, and it was the worst. That's true. Fuck Bo Welch. <laughs> oh shit, no, <laughs> Bo, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take, take four. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't think we were gonna do that. Take four, take four. Alright, take four. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. I think I think I think we should just scrap it. <laughs> no, dude, this is a good bit and it's true. Dude, why did Bo Welch sign on to do that movie? I'm just saying, this movie had the least Bo Welch influence. And it was the worst. Facts. Fuck Mike Nichols. <laughs> Shut up, my boy Welch. Go. I'm fucking terrible. I need to stop laughing. <laughs> oh, I got so much peanut butter in my mouth. It was so gross. Do you don't want to fall in your life. Wait, wait. Oh, is that? No, that's what this is switch is for. Yeah. Oh, wait. Right, there are line bulbs. Oh, that was really gross. We got too much peanut butter, not enough jelly. I tried to give it to you. <laughs> Thor, Asgard's greatest hero, reignites an ancient war that he must take part in from Earth. Why is Thor two hours? I don't know, honey. Be swift, be swift. 
Bowell. This ain't Bo Welch, baby. Come on now. This ain't Bo Welch. This ain't Bo Welch. This ain't Bo Welch. This is not Bo Welch. This ain't 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 Bo Welch, baby. You thought we were actually gonna watch this? This ain't Bo Welch, baby. Hello? Oh, it's not Bo Welch. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Let me, let me, dude, kill yourself. Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. It's gonna trail up and tilt. Kill yourself. <laughs> 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 Bro, um, uh, can you pull up the video to the audience of Pop saying the N-word that I just said? It's wait, Pops wait, from wait, wait. regular show. <laughs> How are you guys enjoying Thor? Um, I have two comments. We were watching the news for that. One is, has been stated, this is not Bo Welch. The second one is, this is movie... Tilted version. Watching it like this. Oh. Hey, wait, bro, do that again. Keep going. Snap my neck? Yeah. I uh, do it gentler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today's the day. Is it though? It's June second. It's it's a day. Bo Welch day. Um, we have more hours left in Bo Welch films <laughs> than we than we will get to in the day today. Mm -hmm. Even if we somehow got them back to back to back to back. All together, I know. But we should still go grab Trevor. Yeah. Hey, it's your pick. Fuck. <laughs> on his last, or on his latest expedition, Dr. Rick Marshall, his research assistant and a redneck survivalist, gets sucked into an alternate universe filled with dinosaurs and other, and then it's cut off. <laughs> Sponsored by Gamer Subs. It is cut off. Wow. You can't even press a button to see more. It just ends. <laughs> Dinosaurs and other. <laughs> I just mean and other. What is punctuation? Bro, look at the ratings. Four and a half Wait. stars. Oh my god. This is a classic. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who the fuck? Alright. You guys said you get, you get a little burnt out on Bo Welch films. <laughs> this is the well, one to bring us back. This is gonna reignite the passion. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we just watch Cat in the Hat four times in a row? <laughs> Bo oh, Welch. Teresa Tucker. What? Teresa Tucker. What is it, Chaka? Bo Welch. You said? Bo Welch. That's our man. <laughs> there he is. That's our boy. So, Brett. Yeah. What did you think of Land of the Lost? It was okay. Trevor. I, 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 this is 
It's a bit gay. Great. Don't you think? Great. It is great. It is great, yeah. Trevor, do you want to introduce our film? The Lost Boys. When a single mother and her two sons move to a sleepy seaside California town, they discover much the most compelling group of contemporary vampires ever to put. Ever to put. Our break was too long, we forgot what we needed to do. <laughs> Hit play! <laughs> I, I moved just back 10 seconds, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no. We can watch these guys later if these women. Oh, hey! Good show, yeah! Good show! Hey, 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 yeah, no, there's just Look at these fucking spotlights, dude. <laughs> Where's that light coming from, man? The moon. Yeah, it's, shut it's up. It's the fuck a... off. Bo Welch moons are big, man. They are big, bro. <laughs> they emit light like the sun. Dude, if there isn't a harsh spotlight, it just bathed in red. Like this, <laughs> it has two modes. Dude, this is literally red light district to the film. <laughs> Except for they hate drugs. Okay. Just got done writing my notes for The Lost Boys. Didn't seem like any of us were really big fans of it. Brad and Trevor, they ran off though. So. Hey guys. Guys. Guys, we still have another movie to watch. At least one. Give me your phone. He's fucking stiff, dude. Wait, seriously? Guys? What? Oh, what's up? What's up, Tommy? Uh. Trevor? Yeah. Brett? How's it going? What's it's up? going alright. I didn't think that the movie had... Would you like a cigarette? That big of an impression on you guys. I mean, not really. I mean, it wasn't that great. Yeah. It's, I mean, it was fine, I guess. It's okay. Do you have a, do you have a lighter? A wealthy, precious, and loving child is raised in India but sent away to New York. Call my guy in New York. Boarding school by her beloved father when he must go off to war. You know, this one's actually a complete sentence. Yeah, that's because it's Alfonso Cuaron, dickhead. He's a real director. Okay, not like these fucking young hotshot startups. Okay. You wanna say that again, Trevor? A24. Say it again. A24. One more time. A24. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, just kidding. You're gonna do 10 seconds, sorry, buddy. Oh, wow. Oh, Emmanuel Lubezki, yay! Hey, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. what did you do, baby? Bro, 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 bro. Yeah. Alright, that's not too bad. Fuck Patrick Doyle. <laughs> I agree. Blue Shack. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like this. This is a beautiful set. This is Bo Welch. Oh my Welch! <laughs> Dude. This is Cat in the Hat written all over it. No, don't go out of the sand circle. The, that's the, the bear circle. <laughs> You're not wearing the right underwear, babe. Bear's gonna, sea, ba no, sea bear's gonna attack you. Whoa! Ah! What is that? Go back! Similar. Her inflections are very similar. Yes. His voice is just fucking stra is strange. All right, guys. You well, because he's doing his he's doing the Nathan voice. Yeah. The Hoboken Chicken Emergency from 1984. This is a 1984 television movie. This is a VHS rip. There's no DVD or Blu-ray version of the of the movie. Arthur's asked to pickle a bird for Thanksgiving dinner, so he brings home a 266-pound chicken named Harrietta. 
The family welcome her op with open arms, but the neighbors are not so sure, and then Harriet escapes. I think this is based off of a children's book, although I'll look up more info later on. Very cool. Is this like his first Very movie? cool. Is this like his first movie? Who uh, is it? So, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was an art director on this way back in the day. But one of his oh, early... Oh, Bo. Bo was the art director. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, so this is early days Bo Welch. Baby boy Bo. Baby Bo. Baby Bo. BBBW. <laughs> BBC, baby back Bo. Big beautiful Bo Welch. <laughs> All right, hit play. Oh. oh. Bro. Gang related violence never changes. Little broken window theory. <laughs> <laughs> now fucking kick now dude fucking kick him in while he's down, curb stomp him. Henrietta about to get a fucking a teardrop tattoo here shortly. <laughs> Disgusting. Post Hoboken Chicken Emergency fame. <laughs> where, where did Henrietta go? Yeah, after after she was a household name. You guys remember that bit where she was fucking breaking the windows? I think she just joined a fucking gang. Henrietta, no. But yeah, I mean, what the what the fuck happened? Did they? I mean, when F F Henrietta has passed. <laughs> Did they eat her? How many people would you need to invite for Henrietta to serve? See, at I, least twelve. I understand that Henrietta obviously has some human characteristics, but think of how many people you could feed. She's not in there. Where'd she go? Henrietta. Henrietta. I just hope that wherever Henrietta is, she's safe. Whoa! Huh. This one's expensive. Have you guys ever seen a movie on Amazon Prime that was less than four stars? I really don't think I have. I swear to God. A romantic comedy about the difference between the sexes on a cosmic scale. An extraterrestrial <clears throat> is set, sent to Earth to impregnate a human in order to begin his. To begin his what, Brett? Begin his new beautiful life with his new wife. So beautiful. You reading the quote? You want to flash the quote on the camera here? Do you really say that? Yeah. <laughs> that was a young young Bo. He said that, bro. Mm -hmm. This is pre-film Bo. It's good. It's good. PF, it was PF pre film. PF, PF Changs. They're a restaurant. They are a restaurant. <laughs> Get intergalactic with three savvy spaceships chosen for a cosmic space mission in this animated family film. What year did this come out? 2008. Well, like, same year as Iron Man. Late. I think same year as is, is Up, maybe. <laughs> no, nah, I think Up was after this, but this was after Toy Story 2. Keep in mind. Toy Story 2 came out in like 2002. I know, so it was way after. Mm -hmm. well, let's compare it to that. June 8th, oh, that's Bo Welch. Bo Welch. Oh, and by the way, oh, look here, dude. Not my fault. Oh, my God. I don't want to be that guy. Oh, the toilet paper? I don't want to be that guy, but you can tell she wants it. I don't want to be that guy, but they just have a good day. Damn. Then you just say sorry to him. Wait for it, dude. She about to fuck him. Someone else. Why would you just say someone else? Bo Welch. Have you, are you guys familiar with the like top 10 most pause movie, uh, movie moments? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys in two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking sick bastard, I swear to god. This is gonna be very similar. Enhance. Not that one. Wait for it. 
Wait for it. Oh, you see the faces starting to rip your eyes, pause. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> okay, well, gonna uh, something. Keep your mouth open, baby. Let's see what that monkey mouth do. Monk, monk, monk. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you know what? They can all catch some. I don't even care. I'll give it to the fucking. I'll give it to the, the trailer monkey too. No cap. There's like four jokes in here too. Cause I'm still gonna be nutting over this. They're all the same joke. <laughs> Get your hands away from my bitch's face, dog. Are you kidding me? I do this every day of the week, except Monday. You do be spinning pretty good. Uh, uh, dude. She just needs some. Oh, they're safe. <laughs> oh, oh, she's cool. She's cool. Oh, this motherfucker lives. Oh, well. Look at that. <laughs> Good. This dude, yeah, blue man group. <laughs> All right. Uh, Got Tom. Uh, hey, what a new baby. Yeah. Actually. All um, right. Wolf, a mild mannered book editor, Jack Nicholson, bitten by a wolf, goes for the throat of all who have betrayed him. Michelle Pfeiffer co-stars. <laughs> True. I just want to say I think it sucks. What sucks? I'm just saying what the guy said. I'll be damned. Well, I'll be darned. I think hair coming out of a wound would be a dangerous thing that I wouldn't be a fan of. <sighs> Child Wolfman vibes. I'm terrified, dude. <laughs> it's gone. Shh. Oh, it's going? Shh. Welches! Oh, Brett, you're blocking it. Oh. <laughs> Bro, he got all over me. <laughs> all right, now lean your head back. We have to do it again. <laughs> okay. Fuck it up. That was a good amount. I thought it was going to be way closer than that, bro. You're going to spill my face. All right, ready? Yeah. Go. Said perhaps some small measure of civility from my hostess. Wait. Welches! <laughs> I really hate that image. <laughs> right. I have all my fingers. What is that? Tom Hanks? No, that's, that's, that's not Tom Hanks. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's Robert Downey Jr. Wow, that's how they get him for this. Ghostbusters 2, 1989, 10,533 reviews, four and a half stars. How'd they get him for this? The superstars of the Supernatural. Of the Supernatural reunited the battle in enormous is under this one? Dude, he's talking. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You continue. Sequel hilarious. Really this cool is City this York one. New Threads that oh, slime where's, of where's River Pine Underground Pine? Enormous oh, no. and Battle Two forever, Reunite though. Supernatural the of Superstars the. Do you believe in ghosts? Ghost detector. Is that a ghost? Where is it? Oh Trevor? Trevor, there's a ghost right in front of you. Yeah. He's fucking kicking his ass. Keep huh. going. Huh. Ah, get fucked, bitch. Where'd he go? Wait, did Fuck. he get fucked up? Ran off. Oh, he's on your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> get fucked. Oh, oh. Pile driver, bitch. It was oh. a child, too. What? It was a child. It's a baby. <laughs> get it. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. John. What's up? There's a ghost on my crotch. Gross. Fuck him up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> get him. Rudy Russo. Is an uh, car salesman who aspires to become bend a over for us, baby. Bend meantime, over for however, us. 
Rudy works yeah. in the uh, automobile dealer. Oh Luke my Fuchs, fucking Jack God. Gordon. When That's Luke dies, shit. Rudy takes over the lot. Oh, what does that mouth do, baby? Stiff competition, <laughs> stiff. From the <laughs> oh, oh you're Luke's. making me stiff. Who also oh runs his brother's God. business for himself. In order to get more customers, oh, Roy oh, needs to devise ridiculous promotions to gain the upper hand. I will do anything for you, monkey girl. Oh. Kachiga. Oh. oh. You better oh. Kansas City, bro. 50K. That's my man's. <laughs> Patty Mahomes, baby. 40 G's? Brett. Kurt Russell's hot. Also, she broke her arm. Did you see her arm was broken? We won! We fucking... Juice, 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 I've been telling girls about the YouTube channel. It's going to be taken. It's about to be taken. Looker, directed by Michael Crichton. Plastic surgeon Albert Finney goes after big business execs when he realizes his glamorous young patient Susan Day is next in line for computerized cloning and murder. And your hair never falls as well the next day, and your clothes never wear right the same way, cause... This is unlike any gun ever made before. It works with light. It puts you in a hypnotic trance so that you lose all sense of time. That's why they were able to do what they did to me and also the girls. Mary, you know what I Uh, said designers. Maybe he was uncredited. Not again. Uh, it was 1981, yeah. Not even the camera. Um, you admitted this the other day. You were like, well, you know, my personal enjoyment of the film is really to do Yeah, with I'm having a good days. day, Brett. I'm having a good day. This movie's just fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. Do you want to fight? My mom and dad yell at each other. Mm -hmm. You should read out the description for the color purple. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Um, black woman is s slave bad, Steven Spielberg. It takes place in 1909 to 1949. It's a long-ass movie. Two and a half hours? Oh, that's like 50 years. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, I did think it was about in the slavery era, so... Might be. If, you've, if you've read the description, if I would have read the fucking. In a movie spanning from the years 1909 to 1949, oh, from 1909 to 1949, Seely, a Ellie? southern black woman gradually gains self-respect as she strives to educate herself and to find love, despite an abusive spouse and a society biased against her race and her sex. Okay, let's see here we get Boy, Boo, Child, One, Two, Joke Joint Patrons, Joke Joint Musicians, African Musicians, Stunt Double, The One Stunt Double. I wonder if he just did every stunt, no matter what they look like. No, he fell through the roof.
Uh. Robert W. Welch. Oh my what? God. <laughs> the third. No. No. <laughs> the third. No. It worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> ah. What about what if we missed it all those other times? Yeah. No way. <laughs> no, it's because we didn't do this, dude. Yeah. That's why it didn't appear. Guys, um. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it was because that movie was a serious movie and that was Bo Welch's only serious movie. But, um. That's why he's credited as Robert W. Welch and not Bo. But I think we gotta lift the vibes. are not high but are we gonna prejudge films before we watch them of course yes we know the cat in the hat is just a cinematic masterpiece from every level beginning to end and likely no other film will eclipse it we know that but let's give it a chance okay guys that's all i'm asking do you want to read out the synopsis sorry me Sure. Either, either of you. Um, Ben Ovite, 30k <laughs> views, over on October 29th, 2017. 30,000 people. You know it's downtown. Good morning, Greg. Um, I think it's, it has Home Alone Dad, and it's about him falling in love with a waiter or something. Uh, it's about being in love with a chick who, um, fucks a guy who sells A-frames. All right. Boy, best boy. Peter da David. Idiot. David. Idiot. David. Idiot. Robert Welch. Robert Welch. Robert Welch. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah. Our assistant art director. Hey. Bill Nye the second. Oh, it's Bill Nye. Oh, <laughs> how did he come after? All right, guys. Well. What'd you think? I I thought that was I thought that was great. Honestly, dude, this may be one of the most difficult movies to rank in my entire life. Like, I'm not, that sounds weird for just like a, like a kind of, like a rom-com kind of thing. This has some of the best writing in like any film and some of the worst simultaneously. It's also based off a book, so I'm wondering how the book compares to this. <sighs> no way, it's, it's based good. off a book. I, I, no yeah, yeah, that's what it said at the beginning. Yeah, it's based off a book. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that this, it was just... It was probably a decent book that, and then this adaptation was just really incompetently put together, is what I think it is. It was it was an accident, but I still really enjoyed watching this movie. Like it was my experience experiencing this movie was just incredibly surreal, and I enjoyed it a lot. It's an awkward in a completely different way than a lot of other movies. There's no forced awkwardness. Which like a lot of the newer films. Well, see, because it seems to be it, it seems to be completely unaware of the fact of how awkward it is. And that's how you do it. Because a lot that of it too. seems, a lot of it seems like the, the, even the actors don't really know what they're supposed to be doing in a particular scene. Yes. But I think something like that, like the handshake scene specifically, was because you know it's a rom com. They were just like, oh, that's funny, keep it in, not referencing that that scene at all. I also think there were some some scenes in this that, like, to me, felt incredibly real and like raw. Agreed. In, in a very weird way. No, like, 100% a lot of, a lot of the romance, what felt very genuine. Ag I 100% agree. Oh, she says dad is so good in this. Uh, he, he gives me, he's like Ryan Gosling's dad. That's what I get, <laughs> that's the vibes I get from him. Like a really good leading man, but like kind but, of awkward. But like every single time he plays a role, it's very subdued, right? And then he'll have random moments of, of charisma. I, uh, in, uh, uh, I'm not gonna get too personal here, but in selected, um, uh, <laughs> In selected uh, romantic encounters for me and others, there's there was there was enough in here that I thought was like really like true to life. Yes. That like I I like it. Like I I just like it. But also then there's lines where it's like you know your father died when he was like 36. Like he had a heart attack. The the and random then, and the random like, I'll, I'll rape you line. Yeah, yeah. Which I no, exactly. I, then, I I actually almost want to rewatch this movie. Uh, I to tell I you think the truth. that I think 
that this is maybe one of the most inconsistent films I've ever seen. It has pop, it has absolute pop off moments. Again, because I couldn't tell. And if then it was, some of the worst shit ever. Also, for the longest time, the, just uh, his his overhead narration. Like, that was just was bizarre. It was so randomly placed. Or when he'd look into the camera and talk to the camera. Like, it was trying to be like a Ferris Bueller or comedy at points. Other times it was supposed to be like a generic rom-com. But I like how then, they put those in. But and, like, and then it was almost Joker for a little bit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, when the voiceover first happened, Trevor was like, yo, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. It was like random. It was like 15 minutes in. But that's the whole, that's the whole movie. It's like this guy I'm is, also, I, I is need just to like in the, in the lieu of I can't get over this person. And like... It's articulated by, oh, we only went out for two months, and I've. Why the fuck is it called the chilly scenes of winter? Oh, about that. Um, this I, movie. I, I was, was gonna say, This movie actually was about. originally named. Um, Head over heels. Head over heels. Yeah. They, they re-released it, and with a different name, they had it in the re-release called Chilly Scenes of Winter. There's a different ending than in the first one. What the fuck? Yeah, guys. Trevor, Trevor said in the first one, it's a happy ending. It's a happy which ending. Which I'm gonna be real would have. It, it would have ruined this. It, yeah. I don't think it would have completely ruined it, but I would have been very disappointed. Well, because the poster was creepy as fuck, because I saw the Head Over Heels poster. I was going to read more the on uh, the wiki after we were done, yeah. That is... It's so but, bizarre. Yeah, I, getting into that, I, I just think... Guys, was, we need to get in contact with Bo Welch and have him tell everything he knows about <laughs> this one. Daddy Bo. Email him. We, we need to look into that. <laughs> The overarching plot, I also think, was very like raw and or realistic. Uh, just Agree. The cycle of their romance, mm -hmm. and then especially, especially, especially candid, just how it like ends in the very end. I don't know. I just think. See, I I, I feel like. It the I book. almost lived this. <laughs> I, well, no, see, actually, I agree. When he, no, when he was in the car and he, he was kissing her goodbye, and he goes, "No, oh, no, one more." I've literally done that. We keep yeah. going, oh, no, exactly. More. There, yeah, dude. There are like. There are like so many moments of of this where I'm like, yeah, this is just like exactly what happened. But see, it's the kind of like it's it's where it's not actually clever, but it's things that people probably actually have done. It's clever, but because they, it's not clever. Yeah, people are trying I to agree. Be clever. Yeah, because yeah. it's because ex it's exactly real life. This is use of the word that we use all the time. This is goes into the category for me. You're gonna hate this, a cameraman. Um, this goes in the category for me of the raw movies, where it's like not the, as good like, as those. You're, you're talking about like Manchester by the Sea, Lady Bird. Yes, where it's not. This is not as good as those because <laughs> it has it has just some of the worst moments. Yeah. But like the moments that are like that are like so accurate. I ha I know I, I, I can, relationships I actually, I kind of, that are this. I, in I, fact, I, there's one that I that is very like um, someone we know very closely, <laughs> exactly like this, exactly. But then there's other moments where you're like, wow, this I, is I feel terrible. like I feel like uh, the book is probably this, but competent. I'm wondering. I bet the book pops the fuck off. Because in, in, in the book, you you probably have more signals to tell you what's actually going the fuck on. I don't know. If I had to guess, I don't think I would enjoy reading the book, if I'm being honest. Oh, you think I it'd think, be boring? I think the, the, bad mo the bad moments of this all, like, really, really helped me to like enjoy this movie as much as I did. If it was competent, it would have just been like a regular romance, like rom-com. Okay, yeah. but I, I guess one of the points I'm, I'm thinking about is the awkwardness adds to the real-to-lifeness as well. So it's like a, like, well, you agree, but it's like the feather, it's like another feather in its cap. What if we, I think we just should have, all read the book? I was about to suggest that. What if we just all read the book for an episode? And try to, and try to, uh... uh... And try to track down the the original as well. See if we can't. Maybe actually, we like... can talk to the director's family or something. She, she's <laughs> she no looked... longer alive. Oh, she died in twenty twenty. Are they still? Rescues. Are they still in Nebraska? Ah, uh, well, we can find out. We'll, we'll pocket this, guys. Yeah, pocket this, this is in our back pocket. I'll make sure, sure. I'll, I'll I'll download this video off of YouTube so I have the movie still. Just uh, in case. What a bizarre little film. Absolutely bizarre. That's a great term to end on. I think. Expertly done.
classics are finally here on DVD. The beloved stories. Do you like green eggs and ham? Oh my Timeless God. Timeless songs. Timeless songs. Hi, George. I think he's got it. Share the magic of Dr. Seuss's original and Guys, you ready? Classics. Don't miss your chance to collect them all. You guys gonna sit down? I'm sitting. Are there pre-roll ads in the DVD? Yeah. Well, I mean, back in the day, all DVDs and VHS tapes had uh, had the previews beforehand. All ads, bro. It's yeah. really strange. Like, actually. Can't you just, like, skip them? Yeah. <laughs> guys! Is this Shrek, Shrek 2! Shrek 2 hadn't Shrek come out two. yet. Shrek 2! Shrek 2! Wait, 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 the Shrek guy is in this movie. This movie. Oh shit, that's a good connection. The Shrek Michael, guy, he's in this one. Michael part. Myers, yeah. Can we know for damn sure he's in the Wait, is this it? This is the, this is the menu. Oh, okay, pause, pause, pause. I don't think I brought my regular notebook, so I gotta bring out one of the old, old ones. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the menu. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> For a second, I thought the animation was like really, really good, but then the tubes came out. <laughs> oh. That was rather mean. Dude, look at their outfits. You would. You should. Oh, hello there. I'm Sally. Welcome to Cabin Hatton. And I'm Tom. And if you click over here, I'll show you some real cool stuff about the film. Or if you click on my side, I'll tell you some amazing stories about how they made me. Those Guys, bonus features. Dude, we're gonna have to go through all of them. Bo Welch commentary. I hope to God there's a Bo Welch commentary. Fuck. Turn up and click something. Oh fuck. Hello? I can select him. Oh. I, oh, can select, so weird. I can select. I can select. Can I not select the fish? Okay. Well, we gotta watch the film first. Right? Yeah, of course. You guys ready? I'm fucking ready! Play. Final. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, God. Oh, God. That's Bo Welch. That stretches from this hill to that. He made this whole city his nestle. That city is Anvil. <laughs> and no. Wait, do you get an Anvil? Bo Welch. Bo Welch. But quite big enough for buyers and sellers to sell and buy stuff from sure, Bo Welch. Sure. <laughs> this, this is the most Bo Welch movie we've watched. We finally got to say it. <laughs> yeah. Yes! God damn, this is so Bo Welch. This is so Those are just like toy parts. Sorry, that was really funny. No, that was funny. I beg your pardon. Last time, you were the You're fired! That's pretty clear, Mr. Humberfoot. Production designer. Alex McDowell. We have to go down the rabbit hole again. <laughs> Figure, who's, who is this? Quicker! Or you're fired! Humberflu, real estate, how can we make your dreams? Don't do Mr. Humberflu like that. Hey man, you lose Besky! You lose Besky! Look at those fucking houses! Oh, Welch. Oh, Welch. Oh my god, that was so soon. Get the fuck out of here, Brian Grazer. Guys, coming up. Oh Guys. my god, dude, he's so humble, he won't put this, it. This movie's based. Oh my. <gasps> Stop teasing me. <laughs> oh my. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> So, Trevor had a call, right? And uh, Brett is over here working on the sequel already because there needs to be a sequel. Well, um, clearly, we need the GOAT to come back to filmmaking. So, Mr. Bo, when do you see this? When? Here, uh, open up to a random page and read us out. Your... It's what I, yeah. Yeah. Just a, 
so that way Mr. Bone understands why we need a sequel. I'll, so I'll read it and then show you guys. With some help, we can do it, said Little Cat C. Then pop on his head, we saw Little Cat D. Then pop, 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 Little Cat's E, F, and G. We will clean up that snow if it takes us all day. If it takes us all night, we will clean it away, said Little Cat's G, F, E, D, C, B, and A. With mother's white dress. Now the tub was all clean, but her dress was a mess. All right, keep that keep that in mind. The movie. Maybe they maybe it's the reason why there's not a sequel is because they they did that thing where they it's kind of like the Percy Jackson movies, the real shit. They kind of influenced oh. with yeah, all where, the books. Yeah, where it's all kind of a mashup. Woo! Woo! That was a song. The idea was that we started originally with um, Bo Welch about rain. All right, guys, you watch the movie again, dude. It's so Bo yeah. Welch, but also yeah. fucking uh, Alec Baldwin is talking of, to him. Yeah. Opening a, a book and stepping into this uh, classic, right? They were really, really cool. Uh, it was I guess, to yeah. The way to the AFI. He is the most talented, and not only does he make beautiful. Bo Welch, Bo Welch, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, <laughs> and we're in. And we're in. And we're in. That was our Bow Welch journey. An activity thought of as a day long movie marathon that extended out into a week, then a month, and then a whole summer. Similar to how Christmas is only one day and dominates winter, so too does June 2nd, Bo Welch Day, dominate summer. I declare summer the season of Bo Welch. It is not the season of sunshine and heat waves. No, it is the season of German expressionism, postmodern architecture, pastel colors, purple slime, and big beautiful moons. <sighs> this video was originally thought of as a way to explore the work of an unsung hero of filmmaking. It's easy to forget that movies are a collaborative process and that there are aspects of films that aren't given a lot of consideration. How many people who have seen the movie Us are familiar with the other amazing work done by cinematographer Micah Gulakis? How many people who have seen the original Star Wars are familiar with how Marsha Lucas saved the movie in the editing room? With that being said, even though Bo Welch isn't a household name, and if you Google him, you're more likely to see an article about his wife, actress Catherine O'Hara, he still gets more credit than other filmmakers who aren't directors or actors. <laughs> I mean, how many other production designers have spotlight videos made about them. I remember a quote I heard in high school that everything you see around you is someone's life's work. Someone had to design that cover, draw that map, engineer that radiator, or carve that chess piece. Even in bad movies or video games, you can spot the work of extremely talented people. While not many people know who Bo Welch is, it's hard to imagine what Tim Burton's style would look like if he hadn't come across Bo's work on The Lost Boys. I feel the need to mention too that in looking up info on Bo Welch, Every interview or behind-the-scenes clip I saw, he came off as this goofy sweetheart, which reflects nicely in his work. I wanted to end this video on a cheerful note, saying something like, Happy Bo Welch Day to all, and to all a good night, but our journey has not ended on a jolly note. It was an experience with a lot of energetic highs and a lot of grueling lows. It certainly took a toll on all of us, my friends especially. Brett... Well, Brett seems to be on the verge of collapse. He just can't seem to handle the fact that there's a limited amount of Bo Welch content. Even after going back and watching all the other movies not included in our marathon, and even after watching all of his television work, Brett has been left with a Bo Welch-shaped hole in his heart. I also feel the need to make a correction. Bo Welch has two other acting credits. One as a pedestrian in Men in Black 3, and another, this time a starring role, in a 2014 short film called Tiebreaker, where we learn that Bo Welch is definitively a tennis guy and where he actually has dialogue. Oh, don't be such a pussy. From a male slut! They suck! And even after showing Brett that, he was still left with a void that he tried to fill with every other kind of bow and Welch out there. And Trevor... And Trevor's gone. We don't know where he went, but we search every day. And Bo Welch, if you're watching this, I want you to know 
that we need you back in the director's chair. That is what I think would save Brett from the pits of Welchless despair, and may also shed light on where Trevor disappeared. Whether it's The Cat in the Hat Comes Back, or a Bo Welch reboot of Chilly Scenes of Winter, one more feature-length spectacle directed by Bo Welch, I think, could solve all of our problems. Help me, Robert Welch. You're my only hope. I respect my art. Oh. All right, Bo Welsh, indie film. <laughs>